We get the last batch of new star powers in this week's star power review. We got Bow, Tick, and Crow. Pretty decent star powers, but of course, as always, I'll break them down for you, put them in a tier for every game mode. Let's do it. Let's start out with Bo. Now, Bo, you know his old star power. It gives him extra two tiles of vision in the bushes, and his teammates can see that extra vision as well. His new one, Snare a Bear, is whenever someone trips his mind, instead of getting knocked back, they get stunned for two seconds. Now, for reference, the knockback sort of stuns someone for 0.7 of a second. Now, with this new um, Snare a Bear star power, it doesn't knock them back, but it locks them in place for 1.3 seconds longer than his um, having his other star power would. Now here's Bo's star power review. I do think his new star power snare bear is going to be a decent star power because stunning someone is usually pretty good and also his other star power is pretty bad so at the least it should be better than that one. Even if his new star power doesn't prove to be great it should still be better than the four tile vision you would have normally with his other star power unless it's a map like Snake Prairie or something, a super grassy map, and then you would probably want the extra vision. But Snare a Bear, considering his other star power has somewhat of a stun already with 0.7 of a second, having an extra 1.3 seconds of a stun, I don't think is that crazy good. I do think it's decent. Maybe I'll be proved wrong and it'll be end up being better. I do think actually the effectiveness of the star power will vary too, depending on the trophy level you're at. Lower trophies, it might be better because people are not that good at avoiding uh, mines as often. In general though, his new star power is going to be good on maps where, of course, his mines are better. Those are going to be the best maps for his new star power, right? Maps that have controlling lanes make it harder to avoid those mines or you have to take more time at least to uh, try and trip them. Also game modes like objective base where you know where people have to go, like in gem grab, where you can place it in specific situations where they have to either take a lot of time to trip it or they don't know where it is and they're gonna get caught in that stunt. So the main thing for me, while this is better than his other star power, because it's not a crazy extra long stun, I don't think it's going to be amazing. If it were like 2.5 seconds, I think maybe that could be enough. Three seconds for reference is how long Frank super lasts when he stuns someone. All right, now for Tick. His old star power makes him regen health way faster, two seconds faster uh, than he normally does. So he only has to wait two seconds and then he starts healing. His new star power, pretty simple, gives him a 15% faster reload speed. So I think you can imagine how this one works. I don't think I have to explain this too much. But yeah, his real speed now is two seconds. I think before it was somewhere around 2.2 or a little over actually. Um, definitely a pretty good star power for him, but let's go more in detail. Here's Tick's star power review. Now Tick's first star power, well, well, it is definitely a decent one, right? Healing for a controlling throwing brawler is always a decent thing. So that way you can keep on applying pressure more often than your opponents and keep them on their heels. But that also applies to his new star power because, and I actually think it's even better because you imagine with Tick, he's a brawler who can really control an area of the map. Even if it's not reliable, it's a wide area that Tick can apply hits on. Even if it's not a lot of damage, he can put out a lot of mines over a wide area and it can really be pretty controlling. With his new star power, that's gonna allow him to do that even more. You thought Tick was kind of annoying before, he's gonna be even more annoying. Even if he's not super strong, he's still on specific maps, thrower maps, even places like Bounty. This is gonna be a really solid star power for him because he just keep on throwing more stuff. I think this is even better than his other star power because he can just keep on applying damage and pressure and keeping people back and damage was definitely a weakness for Tick so this is going to obviously help him out by having even more shots across the board getting him more supers more controlling it's just of course better overall across the board don't really think you need me to explain that one all that much so let's move on to Crow Crow's old star power gave Every time he poisons someone, the enemy dealt 10% less damage, not only to him, but also to his teammates as well. His new one, Carrion Crow, is whenever he hits someone or actually hits something that's under 50% health, his daggers 
for both his normal attack and his super do 100 extra damage. So this is actually going to be a really solid star power. It actually works on safes. It doesn't work on showdown boxes. Again, just like Piper star power. Uh, but it works on people, it works on the Ike turret, works on safes, works on robots. So definitely a lot of applications for this. Here's Crow's star power review. Look, I think this is going to be a really decent star power for Crow. If I'm thinking about Crow, I think the one thing he's lacking the most is damage. And this is, of course, going to give him a lot more damage. So I think this is going to make Crow a lot more of a threatening brawler. Crow is always a brawler where you want to use your super on someone who's low health. So... Adding his super, giving it more damage, of course, is going to be a great thing. He's already going to use that super on people who are low health anyway. So this time, he can use it even sooner and deal even more health. And of course, since this new star power works on the safe when it's under 50%, works on the eye tier when it's under 50%, it gives him a big boost in those two game modes. Now, I will say, though, of course, it doesn't apply. Like, you have to wait for it to get under 50%. And that can take a long time. In some games, that doesn't happen sort of till the end. Uh, if it's a defensive game, you might not have many opportunities to use that star power on the safe or the Ike turret. But it does have the potential. And of course, you can still use it throughout the match on different enemies, which, of, as always, will be really useful. So while his old star power, you'd definitely rather have than not have. I wouldn't recommend it over his new one anywhere. I think Carrion Crow is going to be the better star power, the one you really want to focus on if you are a Crow user, you love playing Crow, you will definitely want Karen Crow. I do think it will make him a solid amount better. This star power should really help Crow become the assassin he really wants to be. All right, I wanted to keep this one short because I didn't think it was that difficult for you to understand or to explain, but make sure to check out the other star power reviews if you do want those in-depth breakdowns for all the new star powers. That is going to be it for today's video, though. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you later.